Livestock, especially pigs, play a vital, traditional and cultural role in the lives of Pacific Islands people. However, African swine fever, or ASF, now poses a real threat to the pork industry in the region. African swine fever is a deadly viral disease in pigs. It affects all types of pigs, um, domestic pigs in farms and the wild pigs in the bush in the forests. Um, it does not directly affect um, humans, um, so it doesn't have direct consequences on public health, on human public health, uh, but it does have serious uh, socioeconomic uh, impacts. Um, with regards to high mortality rates and uh, loss of production for the pig farmers and overall it uh, negatively affects the pig industry. There is no vaccine or treatment for ASF and its potential to spread rapidly through the region would affect not just commercial but subsistence farmers as well. And now ASF has been detected in the Pacific. African swine fever was first detected in uh, uh, Mendi, the southern highland province of uh, Papua New Guinea in March 2020. Um, the, um, the virus was suspected when a large number of pigs died um, in February 2020. So samples were taken by the Nagia investigation team and sent to Australia with the results returning positive. Importers are expected to be the first to be affected if the threat of ASF increases. If it did get into Australia, which is the source of most of our imports, normally we supply 70-80% locally, and import the rest. Um, if it did get into our colleagues in Australia, would we still import meat products from Australia? Because that's a threat. That's one of the ways it, it uh, is transmitted, is through meat products. A concerted effort is being made to raise awareness and prevent ASF from spreading further into the Pacific. The Pacific Community, in partnership with the Pacific Horticultural and Agricultural Market Access Program, or Farmer Plus, is working with partner agencies to train biosecurity and animal health officers throughout the region to improve African swine fever preparedness. So the theory training for the emergency preparedness workshop for African swine fever is all about um, learning about the, the pathogen or the organism that causes the disease itself, the population that it affects, and uh, the transmission pathways, so the, clinical, the overall clinical picture of the disease, and how all this information can help us implement prevention and control measures at the border and on the farms. The two-day training also provides practical for participants which includes the proper use of personal protective equipment. Proper protocols and procedures to extract blood samples is also a vital component of the training. Similar training is now being implemented across the Pacific to stop the incursion of ASF. SPC has also partnered with Pharma Plus to develop appropriate training and awareness materials. SPC and uh, Pharma Plus procured ASF Internessa field test kits in collaboration with the Prisco 19 and Miko 19 uh, projects for 14 Pacific Island countries. Um, consultations were held with country focal points on their laboratory um, um, capacities and this is to determine the type of uh, test kits that we were to procure for countries. And uh, with the rapid test kits that were procured, um, the livestock officers and biosecurity officers 
can take uh, samples in the field and uh, get immediate results and also send them to uh, accredited labs for confirmation. In Fiji, livestock officers are now conducting consultations with pig farmers and educating them on ASF detection and prevention. The pig farmers are now taking immediate preventative measures. Now what I have done is uh, we don't allow any visitors on the farm, first of all. And uh, if some customer comes and I have a farm worker here and he's the one who's handling the sale and all, he's going to uh, show you the you know, animal and uh, so we keep uh, people at distance now. Strict measures are also being implemented at Vunda Pork, which houses over 4,000 pigs on average. For this farm, we will have to stop people coming on farm to purchase feed and change our, change our, just change our setup so that they don't come anywhere past the office. So close the farm up. Once you're in, you're in. Um, and having the, the live gate sales in a different area and the same as the, the, the purchasing of the feed down in a different area so they don't actually come on farm. Measures are also being implemented at the ports of entry. Two years back, BAF has taken that precautionary measures uh, uh, with that uh, immediate ban of personal importation of the pork and pork product into Fiji. Uh, this uh, decision has been made by BAF to protect uh, Fiji from exotic uh, ASF. <laughs> As awareness and outreach programs continue, there is growing confidence that these measures would ensure the region's pork industry will be protected from ASF. Music